this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I'm going to be doing a design team project for May May Made It, so let's get started. I'll be using two stamp sets today. Um, I'm going to be using this little teapot, it's so cute, and this is from the Brutiful stamp set. Um, it's got lots of different sentiments on it, and it's so adorable. And the other one is Ornamental Greetings. I'm going to be using this Happy Holidays uh, circle right here. I think it's really a really cute sentiment, and it's got a lot of little doodling designs on it. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of coloring uh, for this particular project. So you'll get to see me color, nothing fancy, but I'm going to use my uh, VersaFine ink in the black. And I'm just going to bring my stamp pad to my image. Okay, so I already have it loaded up here. I just want to get good coverage on this. Because I want to get a nice sharp image when I'm stamping onto here. So let's see what it looks like. Now I'm going to fussy cut this out also. Okay, so look how clean that is on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this out and then we're going to color it in. Okay, so this is all cut out. Now the challenge for this month is layer it up. So I'm going to have lots of layers to this card. I'm going to be using the blue and red. It's a holiday card. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and color this in using my Tombow markers. And so I just want that in a deep, deep red. So this red and blue looks really good together as a holiday color. And I'll be sure to put everything you need um, for the store, for May May's store. And let's see, I'm going to use the lighter blue. Now these are two similar shades of blue. And I'm going to take the lighter one to just color everything in. And then I'm going to go in around the deeper, with the deeper blue. So I always like to keep my coloring fun. Um, I don't want to stress about it. But I love to try different colors, see how they work together. So who says you can't have a little teapot that's light blue, right? And red. So you could just about do whatever you want. You could also do this in, in pencil as well if you want. So lots of open space on this one to color it in. It's such a adorable, it's such an adorable image. So I thought, why not tea and the holidays, Christmas, right? And I think this is what I love about card making, is that it's just so unique. Handmade cards are unique. Each and every layout is just different. So I'm going to keep going on this. So I smeared just a little bit of red on there, but that's okay. I like to kind of color in one direction, just like this. Add more layers to it. And if I want it deeper, a nice thing about tumbles is that you can you can make it darker by just adding more layers to it. 
So you see how that looks? Let me just go ahead and do this part right here. So my advice for anyone that's wanting to color um, images and their stamping, just have fun with it and try out different things. You know, you never know how it might turn out. If it doesn't turn out good, just start all over. Coloring is one of those things you can do while you watch TV. Okay, so you see what that looks like. It's coming together. So now I feel like I need a little bit more of a border on mine. Just a little bit more. So I'm going in with this deeper color here. And I'm just going around the edges where there would where there might be a shadow, possibly. But all in all, I'm just going with what looks good. Okay, so right around the edge here where the lid would hit, maybe there would be a shadow there, right? So I am not like a professional artist or anything. I just like to have fun and I like to just blend colors together and see what happens. But I find coloring to be very relaxing and fussy cutting. Okay, so I'm just going around the edge here. So you see how it's just starting to all come together? Great. Just barely going around the edges here. So I'm just kind of doing my own thing on here. And I'm hoping that you do your own thing too. Because it could be super fun coloring. This is what I remember doing as a kid. Okay, so I'm gonna take um, this uh, colorless blender and I'm just gonna kinda, I don't normally use this a whole lot, but just so that the lines aren't so defined, I'm just gonna kinda see if I can kinda do some blending on this. And I'm not doing anything fancy. So you see it has no color on it. It just it's a blender to help with your uh, with your coloring, just so that if you don't want to have a lot of definite lines, you can just kind of use this to kind of move the color in a little bit. But that's if you don't like lines. I'm good with it. I just figured I'd kind of show you in this video what it looked like. Okay, let's see. Take my light color here again and just kind of go in a little bit more lighter. Just a little bit more blending on that one. So now it's really starting to get the colors going on here. Look at that. Just going in deeper so you can just if it's lighter just darken it up and I like the way this has a little bit of texture to it Go in there maybe on the handle a little bit there this is so adorable. And today it's raining outside, so it's a perfect day for coloring. I'm going to take this and just have this in black right in that area there. And this is going to be one of the layers on the card. So this is what I have so far. Now, I also took this little circle and I cut it out from like a, the lid of a bottle 
So you can take just about anything. Even if you had like your art glitter glue and you want to just trace around it, if you need a circle. So I needed a circle that was going to fit my sentiment. So let me go ahead and load that on my block. So I wanted that, uh, my sentiment here. Uh, I'm going to put Happy Holidays. Yeah, I'll use the Happy Holidays one on here. That'll be cute, and it fits perfect. Look at that. So that was my requirement, was that it fit perfectly. And it's got all the nice little squiggly lines on there. So look at that. Oh my goodness. Adorable. And I'm going to need some red because I've got some red in here. So I'm going to take my red and this is where I get to do my stitching, y'all. Right along the border of this just to bring it, let it stand out a little bit more. So this is going to be another layer and you'll see that in a moment once I start putting everything together. Look at that. If we want, we can put just a little bit of blue in there. Let's go in here. These little squiggly lines right here. Just a tiny bit of blue. Just barely touching. See, I'm having fun with these squiggly lines here. Just a little bit of blue in there. And then I'm going to take be careful if you do this. <laughs> Let me just cover this up right here. I'm going to take my, my marker here and just kind of barely put a little bit of black around there. Just needs a little bit more. Just right around here. Okay, so now I've got another layer to add to my card. Okay, so now we're going to do something with this as well. This is another layer. Okay, so I'm going to create a background on here using this little, this little thing right here. I don't even know what to call it. It reminds me of a splash almost. So I'm going to use that with that tea kettle. I think it'll be really cute. And I'm going to make a background on, on here. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of take this and this will be good for like a corner. Uh, so let's see right here. Right over here. Look at that. Just adding that really changes up a white piece of paper. So if you're ever not sure um, what to do and you feel like you need, your card needs something else, just start adding, uh, take one of your tinier stamps and just start adding something to it. Just use it as a pattern. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so let's go up here because my kettle is going to be somewhere in here. And just every so often, let's see, I'm going to have my kettle somewhere around here. Yeah, makes it easier. So I'm going in different directions on this. I'm just having fun doing that little splashes of tea it reminds me of. So cute. Okay, so we got our little thing going on there. So look at that. Now, if you want to add in some of the colors, you don't want it to be just black. Let me show you what I'm going to do with that. Make sure I don't have any ink on my fingers here. 
you can take your markers that you use to color in your little teapot and now you can kind of add in some color. Well, let me go on with the darker one. Just add in some color, gently. Add color in. Look at that. I'm not doing much of anything. I'm just kind of I'm not trying to be uh, perfect with that. I'm just adding little splashes of color just to bring in the other colors. So I hope you're getting some inspiration from this. Sometimes you just got to make up something new, break all the rules, and do your own thing. See, I'm just bringing in the color. Bringing in some color. And it works, right? Now, another thing you can do, and you know what, what I always add to my cards, you can do some stitching if you want, or I can make a border just lightly go along here. If you don't have that kind of paper, make a little border. So I'm just using that light blue, coloring along the edge here. Now I can take a, gel, a red gel pen and go in and um, do some stitching along there too. That will bring in some color as well. And let's see what else we can do with this. Now if I want, I can take my darker blue or I can take the red, I can take my red gel pen and I can go along this area here and put some stitching in there over the blue. That's what I love about these gel pens. So I'm just really having fun with this card. I'm not trying to go for perfection. I'm going for fun. That's the goal here. So yep, I put that stitching right over the blue. And just gotta let this, uh, this is the Uniball Signal Gel Pen. I'll put a link to it below. I love these gel pens. Okay, so I got that. And I'm just going to add a little bit more red in this right here. Maybe a little bit right there. Just kind of evening everything out a little bit. Okay, so that's what we got. Now, if you're saying, okay, I want to add more stuff in there, you can. Um, I would take this, and usually I like the, my three-dot method here just to add some stuff in. You can go in with stickles. Um, you can go in with some, some glitter. Glitter drops, that is. And so that I'm filling up. I don't know if you can see this on camera. I'm just filling up some space here. It looks so adorable. Okay, so now this is what we got. So now let's add some layers on. We're going to put that first layer on here. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add these on. So this is just some mounting tape for those of you that are just tuning in. This helps me add dimension to the cards. So this is going to have lots of layers to it. So I'm going to peel the sticky backing off and then I'm going to add it to the card. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and layer it up here. 
leave a nice little border around the edge. Just like that. And then we're going to take these two pieces and let's go ahead and add a layer on here. When you add layers, you add so much dimension to your cards. It makes such a big difference. Just to take, take that extra time to do this. So we got that one on there, right there, okay, and then we're going to have this one and add more dimension on this too. Now another thing I could have done is probably taken the lid off and add some kind of dimension somehow, maybe put it over here or make it look like the lid was off or something. So just so much you can do with this. But look how all the colors are really coming together. So let's go ahead and layer it up again. Okay. I told you this has a lot of layers to it. So yeah, challenge yourself um, to add layers to your cards. And I will put all of the uh, links below in the description box so that you can see where to get these stamp sets. And you can also get information on the Stamp of the Month Club as well. Oh, look how adorable that is. All the layers love it okay one more thing let's see something else i feel like i want to do to this see we got this on here i'm going to add a little bit of a white border around here just to tie everything in and i'll show you the other card so you can see uh, the differences in those i did do a practice card on this So much fun. So I really hope this has given you some inspiration, a couple of ideas. For those of you that are just joining me and just started to watch my channel, I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. So stitching is one of my favorite things. <laughs> but look how beautiful it looks on that dark red paper. Okay, so this is what we've got. Look at that. So adorable. Let me show you the other one. And I added a little flower that I had pulled apart and glued back together. I actually took two flowers and attached them. And so look how adorable that is. Absolutely adorable, unique, and just different, right? Just having fun, coloring. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really had a good time showing you some kind of coloring technique. It's not perfect, but you don't have to go for perfection. Just have fun. So I will see you real soon. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.